Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mogul Lover and today we're going to continue playing as that Russian SFSR but I want to take a quick look at our guy here, Fyodor Grishin. So apparently he's pretty good. He's level 4, he's, you know, not too bad. But he's really good in attack. He's really bad in fleet coordination. But something tells me that won't matter too much longer because right now I'll let you know uh, I guess Italy took part of Venezuela but I basically played a little bit, a little bit more than usual, I guess, after the last video. So basically, all of South America is done. I've already staked my way up through Central America. I spent about half an hour doing this. Didn't want to waste another video where I'm just sneaking up to Costa Rica and Central America. I mean, I could have. I know some of you guys like it, just to watch what happens, everything that I do. But I mean, it's 1954. I'm running out of thumbnails, and uh, yeah, we will just continue. Pushing on through. So right now, as you can tell, I've already set up a naval invasion for Guatemala. So that'd be pretty cool to invade. Um, yeah, we're gonna. I will go ahead and invade Mexico first, and then go to war with Guatemala. And as soon as my people land, then I'll go to war with Guatemala. Guatemala immediately push through there, and then go ahead and just make sure we have enough supply and push starting through Mexico. Over here wasn't too bad. I mean, as you can tell, I guess some of these American soldiers are really, really injured. But uh, I nuked, as you can tell, I only have 17 nukes. I nuked a bunch of Mexicans and a bunch of Americans. I mean, it was a ridiculous amount of nukage I sent their way. And apparently, we're getting attacked here in Cascadia, or Alaska, the Yukon Territory, and stuff like that. So, uh, this front basically is at a standstill, and there's really no way you can move. I mean, they are attacking us. They can penetrate my mechanized Polish, Soviet, Russian divisions. But, yeah. Really can't do much up here. Really sucks. Oh well. That's why we invaded Baja California. And, let's see, do I have an extra spare army somewhere? I should, somewhere. You guys are in Australia. You're still in Australia, huh? Uh, you know what? I could probably use you over here. Come on down through here. Have a good time. You're set to go. Erase that. Good job. Our fleet, uh, I think last time I showed you, got a little bit bombed. You guys go ahead and heal. Do we have anyone repairing? Oh, we have some people repairing, but we have plenty enough dockyards at this point. Brest is actually a pretty good place for our subs. Oh, our subs got really hit, huh? Subs to repair. Uh, Ensenada, which is Mexico. Dominican Republic. Newfoundland. Alright, not bad, not bad. Um, I mean, for a while, our allies have taken out parts of Nova Scotia, but they got pushed out. That's why there's so many ports around here. Uh, yeah, so not too bad overall, not too bad. For these guys, level 7 fleet, I have, I actually finally have two carriers, three battleships, four battle cruisers. so this fleet's actually turned into something somewhat powerful, so that's always good to have. Uh, next up, we'll do Florida Coast and Gulf of Mexico, so this way we can definitely navally invade successfully. Alright, you guys, that might be too many planes here, but I'm not going to complain about that, I love planes. Well, maybe except for this. You are doing Gulf of Mexico, so you could probably come down here and actually do that here. And then, oh, we can go to war to Guatemala. Very nice, very nice. You guys come down here and do the same thing. That'd be great. And they're still attacking us over here in Mexico. Oh, baby. Oh, they really don't like us here. Oh, but the, the attacks, they come and go. You know, after I stopped recording, they stopped attacking for a little bit, and then they immediately started attacking again. Obviously, as you can tell, that they're doing the same thing over there. In Canada, they've kind of calmed down. Calm Canadians. But, uh, yeah, this guy didn't get that much more experience, as you can tell from the end of last episode, but he's still at Hills Fighter, Skilled Staffer, so really not too concerned about this part. If they take it, they take it. If they don't, whatever. And I did build a port here as well in that one uh, tile we have over there. So, our ships should be good to go. We should be ready to invade. I have sent... I'd say the vast majority of our divisions to be over there. All right, boys and girls. Uh, we need another naval division name. We had Operation Bull Moose, Operation Dehydration, um, Operation Human Sacrifice, because we are going to invade the lands that was once held by the Aztecs. So, Operation Human Sacrifice. I don't know if that's a really good title or not, but... I'm going to title, maybe I'll title this next video, Operation Human Sacrifice. We'll see what happens. Uh, they are attacking us. And we can scramble some of their planes or disrupt some of their planes. Not a lot of them. But hopefully enough of them. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. 
There is a lone Mexican division here. It's telling us you can't do this. By Eduardo Arita Leon. Cool. Oh my goodness, look how many divisions are over here. That's a lot of British divisions. So yeah, I don't think we can really come into here. But if we could... Oh, we took this, which means we cut off this division's supply. Oh, and we definitely did now. Nice. Oh, so good. If I get over there, that'd be great. Yucatan is ours. Immediately go ahead and build up the airbase, radar, and ports. That is awesome. Now, you guys go right ahead. We have landed, so go immediately declare war on Guatemala. Very nice. Very, very nice. I do have some coffee here, finally. For the past couple of days, I've only had tea. Ah, oh, I love lag. Surprised we haven't sunk all these convoys. I mean, I'm sure they're getting a little bit of supply through here, but probably not a lot. Alright, so we got a lot of planes probably attacking us from over here, which isn't very conductive to the war effort. But, I'll see if they can uh, change that by a little bit. And honestly, the Dominican Republic... Oh, actually, Baja California should not have gotten rid of that one. Oh, well. Oh, and they're still attacking us over here. That's fine. I mean, I think we'll probably win every battle. I could be wrong, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, casualties. UK, 7.65. Mexico, uh, 2.78. Canada, 3.38. And then USA, 11 and a quarter. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. Poles, thank you. The Poles have been a great, great ally. Uh, and you know what? We're going to remember this. We will remember the Alamo. We will remember a whole lot of things. But this is the one way Trotsky is going to get rid of a lot of Polish men. Is by forcing them into battles that they may or may not like. So this is like... He's giving the Poles a chance to prove themselves. But by doing this at the same time, Trotsky's thinking... This is how we reduce or suppress the Polish population. Trotsky is... Special. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Trotsky. We love you, Trotsky. We love you very much. Uh, go ahead and do this. You guys all wrap around here. Good thing Guatemala fell. And then you guys do this. Go ahead and suppress them so they don't move. If you can. Oh, uh, you guys should probably do that. Oh, look at that. Oh, they can pierce. They can even pierce us now, but they can't really do very much about it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, let's get... Oh my goodness, I'm going to get rid of some of these planes. Another hundred. We'll put them around Florida, because I'm sure that's where most of the enemies are actually at, so... Oh, we can disrupt most of the enemy planes, which is great. Great, 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 great. Honestly, Denmark took a lot of these Caribbean islands. Hmm. Um, yeah, stockpile, stockpile. I don't want to deal with excess BS. Heavy, fi heavy fighter bombers, no, fighters... Ireland, you want to be in the war, too, against everyone? Alright, whatever. Sounds good to me. Carrier fighters, don't need that. Dive bombers. I'll use dive bombers probably in my next campaign of whatever I'm playing as. Or whoever I'm playing as. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good at Victoria 2. The video game Victoria 2, but I've been playing it a little bit. Not very good at it, but I do really enjoy it, so. Uh, you guys... Oh, baby. You know what? You have both armies here. And since we have both armies here, actually, go ahead and just, uh, there you go. I need you to move, like, immediately. Just take, like, this guy and come over here. That'd be good. Cool. But yeah, I'm not very good at Victoria 2. I like it. I have to use console commands a little bit, just because I'm not very good at it. But I enjoy it. Ah, Guatemala! Guatemala. Oh, that took a while for you to go bye-bye. Thank you. Contribution to the world has been noted and not recognized. Or won't be recognized when, when I'm done with you. Eh, I don't need this guy. Thank you very much, Maxime. Actually, no, 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 no. He's level 8. Ah, uh, Philippe, thank you for your contributions. I will get rid of most of your army, because I really don't need you there. And throw you over here. Nice. Very nice. And honestly, I'll just throw you over here, since I will start... Ooh, poles. Where are you guys? Oh, you're up there. T actually, I still have tank divisions. Uh, do I still have tank divisions? Did I lose my tanks? I don't think I did. Oh, there's my marines that are doing nothing. Uh, yeah, what happened to my tanks? Um, I might have gotten rid of them, maybe. What the hell happened to my tanks? 
No, I still have them. They're somewhere here. Uh. Mechan oh, there. Okay, whew. For a second there, I thought I got rid of my tanks. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I've reduced my military by quite a bit. Since I've been deleting a lot of divisions. Oh my gosh, do you. S oh my goodness, yeah. Um. Take these areas off immediately and tell everyone to go ahead and repair. Because you can take a look. Look at all those American divisions that are just itching for a fight. Just itching for a fight. Brutal, man. Brutal. But now we've got some definite movement into Mexico, which is great, great, great. Oh, they're actually winning a battle here? Nah, just kidding. I mean, they can't... I mean, no one... They're not attacking any of my armor, but look at that. Some of this breakthrough. Hold on. They'll probably attack again very soon. And... Okay, maybe not. Just the breakthrough on my defensive my units that are defending here so good oh we made a small little encirclement immediately oh i love you guys give me one of you three go ahead and just yeah goodbye american tank division cool awesome 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 i still have medium bombers i gotta get rid of apparently give me 200 of you boys and be placed around here and eh, get another 200 why not we're feeling generous right guys we're feeling generous today Um, honestly, these marine tanks are great and all. I might as well begin planning you for an invasion of Florida. Now, whenever I invade Florida, it doesn't work out very well. Like, because of the strength of American forces, they will literally push you out of Florida, when even if you land and take a bunch of ports and stuff like that. So, I don't have a lot of confidence when I'm doing this, but if I lose a couple divisions, we can make a nice story about them if they fail. Right? That's all about... That's all what we're doing here. Making stories for us. For our future. For our people. Right? That's what it's all about, right? I don't know. Um, put da -da -dum, Jamaica. Uh, so we got this, this, this. Uh, probably right here would be good. Cool. Markin, nothing. Cool. Up oh, and our tank was, or not tank, but mechanized division was pushed back. Uh, oh, you're still retreating. That's fine, you guys. Max Reiter, level 4. Field Marshal, not the greatest, but still not bad. Kuzma, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, five American ships. I did not know they sold five American ships. And People's United Provinces, which is our Netherlands, has taken it and then failed. And it looks like someone's trying to invade Nova Scotia again. All right. Oh, they actually have some British convoys. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Sounds like Mocha's meowing at us outside the door. Uh, uh, um, hold on. Let me see. Let me take a quick look. Mocha. Mocha. Come on. Come on. Now. All right, Mocha. You want something? You hungry? I got Mocha here, and apparently we have elite forces. Okay, now he wants to leave immediately, as soon as he comes into the door. Right, Mok? Yeah? You doing okay? Some of you might have seen my video with my thank you for 500 subs thing, but yeah. Mocha, he's... he's special. Very hairy, very furry. Ooh, baby. But regardless, he might just be hungry, and I'll feed him later, once this video's done. Oh god. Maybe someone else will feed him. But look at this. I mean, Jesus. The amount of attacks is crazy. They can still pierce us. Look at their strength. And they can still pierce my mechanized divisions. Uh, for these guys, look at this breakthrough. Or, I mean, not breakthrough. Breakthroughs for attack. But for defense? Oh my gosh. Commander skill, experience, entrenchment is at 60%. Oh. I mean, their breakthrough is pretty bad. Seeing as they don't have air superiority. And man, these battles are ended so quickly. Lack of experience, enemy air support. I mean, air support is just literally the, probably the most important thing. Like, right after just having defensive line, air support is so needed in this game. It's not even funny. Yeah. I mean, we're doing okay here. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, do that one. We're not going to do Chiapas just because we will probably leave 
this province area of Oaxaca? O Oaxaca? Fairly soon, so. As you can tell, we got a lot of land XP as well as uh, air XP, so that's pretty good. Early destroyer sunk. Great, great, great. And, oh, our guys, our allies, actually invaded the tip of Nova Scotia. Right, Mocha? Yeah? Yeah, Mocha. And they might actually win the battle. Until they continually get more and more attacked. So, yeah. Go ahead and keep building that up. We can reduce the Canadian military offensive capabilities as much as possible. And that might actually help us uh, stay and take that land. Great. See, you think Baja, California is where we, we were... No. You think that we were going to invade through Alaska, which we did. But then we opened up a new front down here in Baja, California. And you thought that would be the new front. No, 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 no. Mexico was always... Uh, Southern Mexico was always the location for the front. Always. And it looks like Mocha wants to leave, so if you excuse me for, like, ten seconds. Yeah, Mocha. Bye, Mocha. Yeah, it's usually pretty weird. I mean, usually my other cat named Binky would beg to come in and then leave, but this time it was Mocha. Mocha usually doesn't do that. And, uh, Poland, nope, nope, you're not going to become a puppet. No, 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 there's a reason why we own you. I mean, uh, liberated you. Um, let's see. They could use more, oh, not infrastructure, we're still building that. Uh, oil, uh, we'll turn Warsaw and the rest of Poland into oil heaven. Yeah, give, give them some military, civilian factories too, so they can do whatever they feel like. Some more free dockyards. Oh, man. I don't think I need anything. I mean, our production is extremely good. Uh, infantry equipment. Here, get rid of these guns. That, that should help a little bit for now. I mean, really, for our ships, we're doing really well, so... Mm, very good. Very, very good. Um, I guess I'll make it super heavy. I know I'm never going to use it, actually. So... Go ahead and do that. Why not? Cool. Uh, we have to, oh god, we have even more. Um, throw another battle cruiser on there, why not? I'm not going to make too many carriers because they reduced efficiency and whatnot, but whatever, you know. Nice. That should be good enough for now. Alright, well, let's keep going then. Mexico's looking great. Uh, I still need to do medium bombers, whatever. Um, ba -da -bum -bum -bum. One, two, three, four. Deploy you to this group. Oh, we're losing actually quite a few planes. Uh, they're probably using jet bombers or something now. Oh, we can do... Oh, oh, hold on. Now the tide has definitely turned. Our air superiority is 76 to 80 percent to 85 to almost 90 percent. Impress... Oh my god, look at that damage. 22.2 damage done by 700 planes, probably tactical bombers. Wait, who, 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 what, what? Mexico is already hot enough. Who made it irradiated? Someone just nuked the Bazinga out of Mexico. And it wasn't me. Somebody's got some explaining to do. Uh, where are you guys? You guys are, uh, well, I guess, come on over here, boys. Cool. Uh, where's that one, like, did I have a super Polish army? This is kind of super Polish, but you're already fighting. Uh, oh, here they are. You guys are, unfortunately, already in Canada. That sucks. Oh, no, wait, don't do that. You guys are, of course, down here. So, really, I'm going to wait for these guys so we can put them on the front line. Tanks. I mean, I'd like to use tanks, but the supply through here would be just too garbage to use. You guys are coming. Oh, you guys are just doing nothing. Oh, I'll get through you over here, too. Uh, give me all you guys and start making your way over down to South America. A Mexican destroyer was sunk. Oh, and a Mexican heavy cruiser, the pride of the fleet, has been sunk as well. Very nice. Any other ships? Oh, convoy. And we might have lost a ship, actually. An allied ship, maybe. I don't know. Actually, did you have something, Maxime? No? Disappointing? I knew it. Cool. You have 11 divisions there. Not bad, not bad. I like that the ships are actually sailing through land. That's always ha handy. Very, very handy. Uh, like cruiser this time. Please come to Leningrad. Just makes it easy for us to figure things out if they all come to one place, or close to one place. Sip of coffee. 
Wow. That's a lot of subs. Split in half. Do that. Throw you down here. Do lots of convoy raiding. Um. Let's see. Uh, we could potentially use, I don't know, I want to raid the coast, but I know that if I do the coast, then, uh, the enemy planes can just sink these guys, and I don't want to do that. Let's see, what do we have here? A carrier and a battleship, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and just take the carrier and battleship. Oh, it's a super heavy, oh my gosh, that's a fat task force. Ooh, baby. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a pretty good task force. Not the best, but it's not too bad either. Throw you onto this group. Naval invasion support like everyone else. Right now, go ahead and just patrol this these two tiles. I don't want to get next to the coast. I really don't. Ah, oh, very good. Very, very good. Awesome. Uh, Koreans, thank you very much for your contribution to the war effort. Ooh, the Manchu people, thank you very much as well. We're missing equipment, uh, anti-tank. I don't remember ever needing anti-tank. I, I haven't even researched a single thing of anti-tank. Ah, British convoy, very nice. Alright, so you guys have stopped attacking over there. We are moving, hopefully quickly, into Mexico. Uh, how is the war effort overall? I mean, we are attacking, we're usually winning. Usually, not all the time. Oh, we took a lot of oil from them, nice. And, yeah, definitely built up some more air bases around here. We definitely have to have those. I mean, we are, like, just kicking some serious butt at this point. Um, but I don't... Ooh, British convoy. How are you sailing stuff through here? Oh, we lost... We Oh, we lost our own convoy, huh? Oh, it's probably Coast Guard, yeah. Coast Guard guys. Uh, for the stats on America, they have this much manpower, a little less than six. Up to 382 divisions. A little more than 30 ships. Not a ton of convoys. They do have a ton of planes. The Canadians have a little bit, quite a bit of manpower. No convoys, no ships, basically a lot of divisions. Huh. Oh, Mexico lost another heavy cruiser. Nice. And shot down two more American planes. Good God, they love attacking this area. Uh, you guys are 20 combat width, which is, you know, it's okay. It's not great. But I'm going to switch you to Mountaineers, because there are some a lot of hills around in this area. So go ahead and switch yourself over. Oh, two Mexican heavy cruisers this time. Very nice. And just in case we need a little bit more supply, I'm going to put some a port through here as well. Supply, supply, supply. Two-ply? No, no, no. Don't use two-ply. Well, use two-ply if you need it. But I like supply. Lots and lots of supply. And Brazilians, you're at half strength. Why did you attack that Canadian division? Oh, baby. Yeah. Keep doing that, guys. Keep keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, oh, three Mexican heavy uh, cruisers and then eight destroyers. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, yeah, just keep attacking, guys. It's, it's going to work for you eventually if you keep doing it, right? Definition of insanity is totally not doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Totally not. Um, I mean, they're taking a slight, slight amount of attrition, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, well, we have Mexico City after it got bombed to hell. Alright, just keep doing that. We'll need that supply. Ooh, yeah, do radar over here so we get more of the Gulf Coast area covered. Definitely some of that. Definitely some of this. Because everyone loves it when you build infrastructure, right? Except if you have to pay for the infrastructure, which really sucks sometimes. But, yeah, let's not talk about that. Cool. Uh, I could maybe use more Mountaineers. I mean, some of our strength and organization... Oh, God, that just dropped, like, a instantly. And you guys can't hear this right now. But, uh... I can kind of hear on the opposite side of my door, that which I closed. Sounds like Mocha's getting crazy again. He's getting a little hyperactive. Ooh, Danish people. Hello, my Danes. All right, then. Very nice. Uh, yeah, keep attacking, Canada. You might win. I hope you don't. But you might win. Actually, you might win. Oh, crap. Oh, maybe not. Or, yeah, or maybe... Oh, god dang it. Uh, well, at least Denmark is trying. They're bringing their Vikings again, and they're definitely retrying to break into there. Kind of surprised no one has tried to break into eastern coast, east coast of the United States yet. 
I mean, obviously I haven't. I've even just reached the freaking border t uh, Texas. Jesus. You guys are doing a great job. Faster than I can really keep up with. Nice. Um, just in case, I mean, I just want to make sure that we have more than enough air superiority for all the things that will need to be accomplished by the time we finish attacking and break into the USA. A thousand planes versus a thousand fifteen hundred. Wow. Losses, very nice. Lots of, tons of damage is done to enemy divisions. Now, for ground attack, or ground support, does that actually attack enemy manpower, or is it just equipment? I remember, I think it was in Darkest Hour, Hearts of Iron Game, they actually destroyed enemies if you had enough, like close air support or a ground attack. Man, Hoi 2 was a great game, but Ho Hearts of, a Darkest Hour, a Hearts of Iron Game was a really great game. Hmm. Really great. I loved it. God, I mean, I played that game so much, and I didn't even know what was really going on, but oh my god. It's probably one of my most played games ever. Um, you know what? I told you to be on balance. Be on careful, since. Yeah, that's not really good if you attack with that kind of stats. They haven't. Still haven't pushed us back through here. I mean, I have level 4 fort, level 3, level 3. Not bad, pretty good. Uh, god dang it, Danes. Come on, man. Come on, man. Seriously. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much a slog just trying to get into America. I mean, that's pretty much it at the moment. And, you know, this is what usually happens when you do a world conquest. You get bogged down in Mexico, then you get bogged down a little bit in America, where you have to almost literally kill the entire American male population just so you can take over the country. Because Americans fight until the very end. Good or bad, they will fight to the very, very end. Oh, nice. But the Mexicans won't. They won't even defend their country, apparently. Ah, oh, I love encirclements. Very, very... Oh, yeah, that's still Qingdao. Um, I don't think it's... Mm, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe giving another piece of territory to the Chinese puppet, but... I think we can wait at the moment. Uh, let's do this one next. Nice. Cool. Obviously, we got another jet fighter here. Oh, wait, before I forget... Medium bombers. I don't want to see these things. Cool. Alright, uh, let's see, ah, uh, Jet Fighter 2s, we have more than enough air XP, so, engine's really good, I want best weapons, oh, that's not gonna cool, that's not gonna be good enough, max out reliability as much as you can, 6, oh, that's pretty good, so we get a little, just a tiny bit more ground attack, they're really not here for ground attack, but we get mo even more range, insane, Air attack is pretty good, and even more max speed, so I really like that. MIGs, MIGs, 17s, yes, please. Oh, love it. Absolutely brutal. Now, we are suffering a little bit of attrition, but that's just because Mexico's infrastructure sucks. Ooh, Elite Forces 2, nice. More soft attack, more organization, more uh, weather acclimatization gain factor. Followed up by even more of that stuff. Oh, yes. Yes, I love it. Oh, and you guys have made it down here. Nice, good job, guys. Um, ba -dum -ba -bum, ba -da -bum -bum -bum, ba -da -dum -bum -bum. You guys are still in Japan. Hmm. You guys have been really hanging out here quite a bit. Come down here, you guys. Ah, uh, you guys don't seem very experienced. You're level seven. You're level nine. Oh my goodness, level nine. Oh baby, yeah. I love this guy. Ooh. And I've been using you over here. If I could expand this area so we could actually have, like, two prov provinces, I'd probably make this into another, like, area where we could breach using other armies, but I guess not at the moment. Lost a couple planes, there were a couple American ships. It looks like the United States took this back, southern Bahamas. That's a big no, 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 America. No, 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 no. Mexican heavy cruiser, very nice. But at least we've reached the American border, so that's really good. That's actually pretty darn good. Do that, maybe. Oh, you're still pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, not too bad. Oh, we're not fighting here at all. Down here, we're not fighting. Over here, we're not fighting. Sierra Madre. Not bad, not bad. What is the supply like in here? So, 1 out of 18. What about for Baja, California? 18 out of 27. If I were to throw in the other general with Mikhail Tuchikaheyev, whatever this guy is, 
That would be just too much supply drain on that area. Can't really invade there yet. And it looks like our allies actually invaded over here where they got two ports. Not bad, not bad. At least Germany's trying something here. I will support them in their endeavor in doing this. That's good. Uh, Canada... I mean, really, it's kind of just a waiting game at this point for me to just push further north. Wait for our soldiers to get a little bit more supplies. I mean, some of them are actually pretty green at the moment because of the attrition. Their equipment has broken down. And we could really kind of wait for us to push a little bit harder. So, it's really just a waiting game for right now. So, um, I mean, with that in mind, there's really not much else that's going to go on in this video. I mean, I'm probably going to, like I said last time, play this a little bit ahead. Probably capitulate the Mexicans. So that this way, I can link up with the forces in the west, get another army group in the central portion here, and then next episode, hopefully we can start pushing directly into the southern United States. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we have a good time with America. Thank you very much for watching.